The mission today is to go out and catch a limited speckled trout. I'm gonna tell you why. For one, the wind's good. It's not blowing too hard, but it's not dead still either. After that, we have a really, really good tide. In fact, it's already falling hard right now, and I should already be on the water, but doing this whole YouTube video thing is kind of a weird animal because you gotta have good lighting. You have to have do all you have to do all these other things that are good for the video. Right? So if y'all like these videos, you gotta tell me. You now make sure to say so in the comment section below, but you can also do it just by hitting that thumbs up button, but only if you actually like it. Now, if you're a member of LAFB Elite, you've already seen the planning video, so you already have an idea as to uh, what the other conditions are like, um, what yesterday's fishing trip was like, and why it is I'm out here, and where it is that I'm gonna go fishing. Anyway, I'm chomping at the bit right now, and I'm just ready to get in the water, so let's get this boat in the water. The kind of fishing spot you want to concentrate on, and I don't mean this exact fishing spot, I'm talking about like a type that you want to concentrate on during the fall fishing pattern are sharp bends and bayous, like a 90 degree turn. Because water does not compress or, or compresses very, very little. So when it encounters a sharp turn, Inertia is going to demand that it keeps going in the direction that it was originally going. So what it's going to do is it's going to dig out over time, dig out that bottom of the bite. It's going to make it deep. It's going to create a little bit of turbulence that will disorient bait. It can be a really good setup for speckled trout and just fish in general. Now this doesn't mean that every single one of them is going to hold fish, but I think that if you pulled out a map or my favorite Google Earth Pro, and picked out 20 of these things and fished all of them on a day like today where you have a good falling tide and you don't catch fish, then you are the world's unluckiest person. I, I think you, you can catch fish using that strategy though. Now I'm telling you right now looking around, I'm not particularly crazy about this one and the reasons I'm not crazy about it include uh, the fact that I don't see any jumping shrimp and I know that there's migrating shrimp because I saw them yesterday in another location it's not terribly distant from here that and I just haven't caught anything yet look this is Louisiana inshore fishing this is not fishing for bass in Lake Conroe on day three of the Bassmaster Classic these are not incredibly smart fish to begin with and they're certainly not pressured they bite fairly easily so if you're not catching them, it's probably just because they're just not there to begin with. Go somewhere else. You watch my videos, you know that. Especially if you watch the fish and trip reviews that are uninterrupted, like the old school fish and trip review that I used to do where I would record the entire trip. And you can just watch the whole thing and be like, oh my gosh, this guy is just striking out at one spot after another. But I keep going, I keep moving them. Boom! I get on them, I drop the hammer. And I catch a good box of fish or I limit out. Speaking of not catching any fish, that's exactly what's happening right now. And it is time, as per my standard operating procedure, it's time for me to go. Let's roll. Ooh, just got bit. 
Alright, that's the first bite of the day right there. Mm. That's the second bite of the day. There we go, baby. We're coming straight to the top, just like a speckle trout. Boom. As big as I like, but I'm pretty sure this is the first keeper. Now I brought this uh, ruler so we can measure all the fish and be sure. And man, he barely makes it. But I'm counting it. All right, let's do that again, and again, and again, and again. Skunk's out the boat. There we go. That fish kind of sat on it. Man, this fish does not feel that great. Nah, this gives us a little ding -a -ling white trout. Man, I'm not fun. I'm not really fond of these things. Here we go. That feels a little bit better. It's a nice one. That's a nicer white trout. It's not a bad white trout. Look, I'm gonna cast around here a little bit more, but if this is just a white trout hole, I am out. Not gonna mess with it. We're looking for spackle trout. That was another white trout. Man, that fish just kinda sat on it. It didn't really hit it. Speckle trout, but that's a throwback. I gotta catch a keeper on this cast. I really gotta catch a keeper here for me to be like, all right, this is awesome, let's do it. Man, same thing, we didn't really. Of course, I'm gonna catch a keeper on this cast. All right, this is uh, the kind of trout I like. The trout you can just look at and you can just say, that's a keeper. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. But this speckle trout will be going back in the water. And that is trout number two. Man, I'm not liking this. There's just enough action here to keep me here and to keep me poking at it, but it's not blam, 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 knocking them dead. All right, guys, the spot was good. We were able to get the skunk out the boat, but I'm just not knocking them in the boat fast enough for me to say, okay, this is great, let's stay. We need to keep going. This is kind of what separates the, the anglers who catch fish from those who don't is that we don't spend a lot of time dawdling around, right? Uh, even if we do catch fish, we will leave fish to go find fish, which is what we're gonna do right now. So let's roll. Do this. All right, so not feeling this, man. 
What I really don't like about all this so far is I've seen no shrimp, no diving birds. And I don't mean just this spot, I mean this whole freaking day. Uh, no bait balls on the graph. And I'm always looking at the sonar. And um, I mean, I'm not, I'm just not seeing what I would like to see and what I know is out there. Cause I was out on the water yesterday. I got on them yesterday. I spanked them pretty, pretty hard. I caught 10, bam, bam, bam. And I was like, all right, that's it. And I left because knowing where fish are at in one spot is not enough. You got to try, got to try other spots too and try and, cause you always want to know where fish are at. You want to be on fish. But this is, uh, I didn't come out here at all. I just kind of took it for granted that with the water temperature in the 60s, and I got 62 degrees on the bow, that the Black Sea Marsh would be on. And it ain't. We're about to take a ride. I'm not stopping unless I just see something incredible. I need to see a freaking rainbow, Woo going down to the water, and shrimp jumping everywhere, and a neon sign saying, blink, 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 they are big hammer speckle trout, blink, 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 right here. That's what I'll stop for. Otherwise, we got to find something better than this because this is this is just not doing it. This is ridiculous. All right, we're here. Oh no! Wind is blowing right up, right up and across this bad boy, but. We're gonna fish this thing. All right, looks like there's another pile of birds a little further up, a little further up there. I'm not gonna mess with that though. I'm just gonna get started here. I'm just gonna get started right here. So even though this is how hard the water's dropping right here, even though the wind's blowing that away, the boat has swung around that away. The current's just dropping that hard. And if I have to live here all day to put together a box of fish, that's what I'm gonna do. It's already done an insane amount of running around. There we go. There's a bite. There's a fish. Bam. Oh man, it's a white trout though. It's a nice white trout. No, that's just, that is the world's barest, barely a speckled trout. Guys, this is a, a weckle trout, a white speckled trout. Look at that. I mean, that looks like a white trout at first glance, but then you can barely see the faint dots on his fin. So to me, that's a speckled trout. Man, he barely, makes the cut so uh it barely makes the cut so i'm gonna call that 12 even though i'll tell you that if i were keeping fish i probably wouldn't keep them just in case i got stopped by wildlife all right so that's number three Ooh, that's a fish right there yeah boy i don't know it's not coming to the top uh-oh, might be a catfish. Yeah, I think it's a cat, boys and girl. No, it is not. It is a nice speckled trout. Look at that. That's a nice fish. That's what we came looking for. Let's see if we can't catch some more fish like that one. Number four. Ooh, right there, man, right there. Keep her speckled trout. All right, we ain't going nowhere. Hold up. Thank you, Mr. Trout. And that is number five. Ooh, that feels good. That feels great. Ooh. Oh, this is just a foul hook trout. Foul hook keeper trout. Bam, baby. We're getting there. We're getting there.
There we go. That felt great. Oh, man, I don't know if he's 12, he'd be close. And he just makes it. All right. Boop. What's this? Nice back up trout. That's what I came here for, baby. Okay, let's see here. Speckle trout number eight. There we go. That's a much better fish. Yes, sir. That's another keeper speckle trout. Bam, again. Nice. Number 10. I like how fat that belly is. You know he's been eating. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Another keeper speck, excellent. And number 11. Oh, that feels good. Oh, it's the first double of the day. Very clearly a throwback. He's about to throw back some more shrimp. Look at that. I don't know about this guy. Over 12 inches. Oh, that feels great. All right, there we go. That's the keeper spec right there, boys and girls. Lucky number 13. And he just barely makes it. That's number 14. And I'm really not doing any, anything special. I'm just fan casting around the boat. Awesome. Bam, on that old school sparkle beetle too. Boom, number 15. Bam, 16. And that is uh, number, number 17. Awesome. All right. That makes number Boom, number 18. Oh, yeah, boy. Number 19. Let's see, uh, number 20. Boom. All right. Number 21. This makes for trout number 22. See ya, buddy. Thanks for the fight. All right, what am I doing? Yep. Boom, 23. Ooh, that feels good. Stay buttoned up, baby. I don't know if this is a trout. Maybe it's foul hooked if he is. Yeah, he's foul hooked. Bam. I don't know if he's 12 inches. I don't know. Oh, 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 he just barely makes it. Oh, look at that, baby. All right. Boom, 24. All right. So that means one more speckled trout. One more keeper speck to catch a limit. God, just came up and murked it right there on the retrieve. Oh, yes. Ooh, number 25 did me good. Ooh, about busted my behind right there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. My favorite kind of fish, the kind you don't have to measure. Favorite jigging setup on a uh, color I don't really ever use. So number 20, number five, 25. 
Okay, thank you, Mr. Trout. If you enjoyed this video, then by all means, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when the next one drops, all you gotta do is subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Now that pattern that I fished is a very, very predictable one, especially for this time of year. If you'd like to learn more about that pattern, I have a free course called Fall Fish Location. Click the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching and tight lines.